Hello, everybody. Today, our team in Reduce a new script that saves you time and headaches. Install all add-on weapons with just a console command or edit the weapon's damage with just a single command, even on multiple inventories or cores. This tool currently supports ESX, QB Core, and OX inventory, with some new inventories coming in the way. Check the link below on our store to see if yours is supported. So let's see how we can use our tool to make our lives easier. Once we've purchased the tool from our store, link in the description below, we will go to portal.cfx.re and log in with our CFX account. This account should be connected to our server via the license key, and it is where the package is attached after our purchase. There, we will go to the category Assets, and then we will look at the list Granted Assets. There, we will find our tool, Do It Digital Weapon Installer and Editor, which we will download. Our next step is to extract the folder from the .zip file to the resource folder of our server and add it in our server.cfg file as Start Do It Digital Weapon Installer and Editor at the very end of our weapons. And now we will start our server or restart it if it has already started. The easiest part now. How do we use it? First, we are going to install a 5M weapon that can be found and bought through our TBEX store, as an example, the one that's called M4 Arctic White CHR, link in the description below. To install a weapon, we should use the command did install weapon and the weapon name of the weapon we want to install. So, we will type in our server console known as txadmin the following command. Did install weapon, weapon, M4 Arc W C H R. Then we are going to wait a few seconds so the script will install the weapon. After a few seconds, the console will print that our weapon was added successfully. So now, our weapon is 100% installed in our server. The only thing we need to do is to add a picture to our weapon that can be found in all our weapons that can be found in our TBEX store Do It Digital. So check in all our weapons folder, Extra Files the folder, with the name Inventory Photos. And there you will find the pictures you want that can be added to your inventory. As of now, we've installed a weapon, but our tool doesn't stop there. You can also uninstall a weapon using the command slash did uninstall weapon, and then the weapon name as we did on the previous command, like so. Then we wait for a few seconds. And then, there will be a print that will say that our weapon has been removed successfully. Okay, we've successfully removed our weapon from our server. What if we don't want to remove it, and we want to make changes to it? Changes like the damage of our weapon. Change the range. Adjust the recoil of our weapon or more that you will see in a few seconds. But before we do any change to our weapon, First, we need to see the stats of our weapon by typing the command slash did get weapon stats and then the weapon name. As you can see here, we can see all our weapon stats. Ammo info, damage, headshot damage modifier player, max headshot distance player, recoil accuracy max, recoil shake amplitude, time between shots and weapon range. And below these, we can see the component modifiers. Did you know that you can modify your weapon stats based on the attachments that are equipped on the weapon? Well, now you do. And you will know how to manipulate them in order to achieve amazing weapon stats. As you can see here, we can change on Suppressor. How much the damage this attachment affects the weapon. On Mag 1, we can change how many bullets the weapon has when the default mag is equipped on the weapon. On Mag 2, we can change how many bullets the weapon has when the extended mag is equipped on the weapon. On Scope, we can change on Recoil Shake Amplitude, how much the weapon's recoil is being affected while the scope is equipped and the player is scoping, and on Extra Zoom Factor. For Accurate Mode is how much the accuracy of the weapon is being affected while the player is scoping and is using the Extra Zoom. And on Grip, we can change how much accurate the weapon is while this attachment is equipped on our weapon. More will be added in the future for both attachment and weapon's stats to be edited. Now, we've seen all the changes we can do to the weapon itself and all the changes we can do to each attached. So now let's see how we change each value using a simple command. To change the weapon's stats, we type slash did set weapon stat and the name of the weapon 
the type of the value we want to change, and the actual value we want to set it to. So here we'll change the weapon's damage, that's 100 to 200, by typing did set weapon stat, weapon M4 ARCWCHR damage 200. And now we wait a few seconds, and if we type again did get weapon stats and our weapon name, we will see that the damage has changed to 200. You can follow the same thing to change any value you want to change. Now, let's change a stat from a weapon component. I'll choose to change from our weapon the component extended mag so it'll be the mag 2, and we'll set it from 60 bullets in the clip to be 45 bullets. We'll type slash did set weapon component stat, then our weapon name, then the component name, then the type of the value we want to change, and then the actual value we want to set it to. So here, we'll type slash did set, Weapon component stat, weapon M4, A, R, C, W, C, H, R. Did M4, R, C, W, W, C, R, R, mag, 2, clip size 45. After this command, we wait a few seconds and the console will print, success. And this is how easy it is to install or uninstall or make changes to a weapon by using our script. You can find the link to buy this script in our TBEC store on the description below.